respect to national board of accreditation nba self assessment report format for undergraduate engineering programs under tier 1 institutions with july 2024 document in this video we will see criterion 8 continuous improvement in our earlier videos we covered program level criteria criteria 1 2 7 now we will see criterion 8 continuous improvement total weightage is 80 then another criteria at institution level criterion 9 student support and governance will be covered in next video criterion 8 continuous improvement total weightage is 80 divided into the following sub criteria the first one 8.1 actions taken based on the results of evaluation of course outcomes program outcomes and program specific outcomes total 40 marks so again uh, this is divided into the following two sub criteria 8.1.1 actions taken based on the results of evaluation of course outcomes attainment 20 marks then 8.1.2 actions taken based on the results of evaluation of the program outcomes and program specific outcome 20 marks then 8.2 academic audit and actions taken thereof during the period of assessment 15 marks then 8.3 improvement in faculty qualifications and contribution 15 marks then 8.4 improvement in academic performance 10 marks total weightage of criterion 8 is 80 now let us see all these sub criteria scr format okay first 8.1 actions taken based on the results of evaluation of the course outcomes program outcomes and program specific outcomes total 40 again this is divided into the following two sub criteria the first one 8.1.1 actions taken based on the results of evaluation of the course outcomes attainment 20 marks here you have to provide see in criterion 3 uh, outcome based assessment there we have seen course outcomes attainment program outcomes attainment so whatever the results obtained for a particular batch related to a particular course based based on target levels and uh, actual uh, attainment uh, obtained so wherever the gaps are there there we have to uh, provide uh, uh, the action taken that means here identify the areas of weaknesses in the program based on the analysis of evaluation of course outcomes attainment levels also measures identified and implemented to improve course outcomes attainment levels for the assessment year here you have to include the latest assessment year cay m1 that means suppose 24 25 is the current academic year then latest assessment year means current academic year minus 1 cay m1 that is 23 24 is the latest assessment year so by including curriculum intervention pedagogical initiatives support system improvements etc you have to provide all these details for cay m1 assessment year uh, based on the co's attainment levels then uh, 8.1.2 this is same as 8.1.1 but here based on the results of evaluation of program outcomes and program specific outcomes so 8.1.2 actions taken based on the results of evaluation of the program outcomes and program specific outcomes total weightage is 20 so here we have to identify the areas of weaknesses in the program based on the analysis of evaluation of program outcomes and program specific outcomes attainment levels so here we have to uh, identify the measures and implement during two years here we have to consider two years whereas uh, cos we have to take uh, one year one assessment year so implemented during two years to improve uh, program outcomes attainment levels including curriculum intervention pedagogical initiatives support system improvements etc then coming to 8.2 academic audit and actions taken thereof during the period of assessment so three assessment years we have to Uh, consider this one academic audit and access taken total weightage is 
here academic audit system or process and its implementation in relation to continuous improvement at your institution level whatever the methodology you are following for academic audit so then based on that audit so any gaps or weaknesses are identified then uh, action taken thereof so for each and every assessment period cym1 cym2 cym3 you have to uh, define uh, academic audit and actions taken with supporting documents we have to provide the write-up followed by with some sample proofs then 8.3 improvement in faculty qualification and contributions total weightage is 15. so here based on the assessment year wise so uh, assessment is based on improvement in qualification as well publications with respect to the department so the following uh, table we have to showcase improvement in qualification publications so cym1 cym2 cym3 for example your current academic year is 24 25 then cym1 is 23 24 cym2 is 22 23 cym3 is 21 22 for these three completed assessment years we have to provide number of faculty members with phd degree number of publications in peer reviewed journals number of publications in conferences so here uh, improvement means so compulsory CAYM3 to some improvement in CAYM2, CAYM2 to some improvement in CAYM1. So uh, CAYM3 to CAYM1, some uh, increasing uh, you have to showcase. That's why uh, you have to collect all the details correctly without missing even single uh, item related to faculty members with the PhD, number of publications in peer review journals, number of, number of publications in conferences. So uh, by seeing this table, uh, so here uh, you can identify uh, the improvement. That is improvement in faculty qualifications and uh, contributions. Then 8.4, improvement in academic performance. So total 10 marks. In criterion 4, out, uh, uh, outcome based student performance, there we have seen uh, first year uh, student academic performance, second year uh, student academic performance, third year uh, student academic performance. So then the improvement uh, uh, year to year, assessment year uh, 1 to assessment year 3. The latest assessment year is CAYM1 and then uh, next year is CAYM2, next year is CAYM3. First assessment year CAYM1, second assessment year CAYM2, then third assessment year CAYM3. So here you have to provide details of improvement in academic performance of first year, second year, uh, third year students during uh, these three assessment years. Uh, yes, then the following table, uh, these details uh, you have to enter. The first one, Academic Performance Index API of the first year students in the program. So in Criterion 4, 4.3, this is related to first year students uh, Academic Performance Index. There we have calculated. So here you have to enter uh, the API of first year CAYM1, CAYM2, CAYM3. So CAYM3 to CAYM1, so whether it is increasing or decreasing, if it is uh, uh, increase in means so, so uh, performance uh, improvement is there similarly academic performance index of the second year students in the program so that is in criteria 4 4.4 caym3 caym2 caym1 whether increasing or decreasing if it increases means uh, uh, there is improvement in academic performance then academic performance index of third year students in the program that is in 4.5 4 uh, sub criteria in criterion 4 CAYM3, CAYM2, CAYM1. So uh, based on the fourth criteria, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, whatever the API obtained there, those values you have to enter. Here, the continuity, whether increasing or decreasing, based on that, uh, the way it is, uh, is given. The marks shall be awarded. Now, uh, for a quick reference, uh, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, again, I have listed here. Actually, these are all uh, not uh, required here, but from criteria 4, you have to refer for your understanding purpose. These three sub criteria of criteria 4 uh, listed here. Again, instead of going back, uh, so uh, I have given here itself. So now uh, you can see 4.3 academic performance of the first year students of the program. There in criteria uh, 4, uh, 4.3, 10 marks are there. So this can be calculated by using uh, the following formula here. Average Academic Performance Index API, how to calculate API equal to mean of first year grade point average of all successful students on a 10 point scale or mean of the percentage of marks of all successful students in first year 
divided by 10 into number of successful students divided by number of students appeared in the examination. So this formula and the sample calculation we already covered in criterion 4 under the sub criteria 4.3. Only that metric again I have included for a quick reference. So here what is meaning of successful students uh, for first year means who, who whoever proceeded to the second year from first year to. Similarly 4.4 academic performance of the second year students of the program in criteria 4 under sub criteria 4.4 it is 10. So here uh, this API is calculated uh, uh, based on mean of second year grade point average of all successful students on a 10 point scale or mean of the percentage of marks of all successful students in second year uh, divided by 10 into number of successful students divided by number of students appeared in the examination. Here successful students in second year means who have proceeded to third year. Similarly, 4.5 academic performance of the third year students of the program in criteria 4 under sub criteria 4.5 it is 10. Here average academic performance index is calculated for third year students using the following formula. So mean of third year grade point average of all successful students on a 10 point scale or mean of the percentage of marks of all successful students in third year divided by 10 into number of successful students divided by number of students appeared in the examination. Here successful students in third year means who have proceeded fourth year. So these are all the linked metrics in academic performance improvement under 8.4. Here you can see academic performance index of the first year that is 4.3, academic performance index of the second year that is 4.4, then academic performance index of third year that is 4.5. For the three assessment years, you have to include uh, these API values. Okay, uh, that's all about uh, criterion 8, uh, continuous improvement. This is NBA official website, www.nbaind.org. From this website, you have to uh, see the accreditation documents uh, under uh, you can get the pre-qualifiers, self-assessment report, evaluation criteria and evaluation guidelines of Tier 1 UZ uh, with uh, July 2024 document. From January 2025 onwards, only new format is available. In our upcoming videos, we will see criteria 9, student support and governance. Till then, stay tuned.